Hello everybody, welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about COM, which is a quite an old technology, but you can still see a lot of COM in many of the Windows or Microsoft's uh, legacy applications that are currently uh, very widely used. So let's first see what is COM and see some of, some of its definitions. So COM is basically an acronym for Component Object Model. It's a platform independent object oriented system to create binary software components which can interact with each other. It's a software architecture which is used to build applications on top of binary software components. It is also a technique to share binary code across different applications and languages. It's a binary interface standard which allows interoperability amongst software components and so on. So there are multiple definitions of COM which try to tell you what are the features of COM and what are its basic characteristics. So let's try to see why COM or let's see five key features of COM or you can say why COM is still in use. We will try to look at uh, that through these features. So COM is basically a binary standard and it applies after the code in programming languages converted to machine code. So you can write applications in different languages adhering to COM binary, uh, COM binary standard and they can communicate with each other. So Another important feature is COM forces a well-defined interface uh, which faces which are separate from their implementation. So that means component can be modified without changing the whole software because the dependency is on the binary interface and not on the implementation of that interface. Thus improved components can be used in place of the existing uh, without actually recompiling the whole solution. You just change the implementation and replace the component with better implementation. So that's why COM uh, gives you a uh, better versioning also. So let's see uh, another feature which is platform independency. So COM is basically a platform independent technology and applications written in COM can be used across uh, multiple platforms. So the COM objects can be within the same process or distributed across different processes or different machines. So COM can be used a lot uh, for uh, Com can use a lot of remote procedural calls and uh, it provides the functionality for that. So you can use inter-process communication across such distributed objects and that is called as the uh, distributed com or dcom. So these are basically the five key features of com and we also saw some of the definitions of com. In our next video we will try to cover what are the fundamentals of com. So thanks for watching and hope this helps.